सो टुडे आवर टॉपिक इज द डायग्नोसिस ऑफ द जेनेटल अल्सर्स ना जेनेटल अल्सर्स मीन्स अल्सर्स ऑन द जेनेटल ऑर्गन्स सो दिस जेनेटल अल्सर्स आर कॉज बाय डिफरेंट ऑर्गेनिजम्स सो देर आर टोटल इफ वी टॉक हैज अ होल सो देर आर टोटल सिक्स ऑर्गेनिजम्स विच कैन कॉज सर्टेन डिजीजेज इन विच वी सी द जेनेटल अल्सर्स सो वी need to know how to differentiate between those diseases uh, just by the clinical examination not by the lab test so first we will just uh, um, identify the ways by which we can uh, diagnose the genital ulcers just by the clinical examinations this is very important from the dermatological point of view as well as the microbiological point of view so this will be seen in the dermatology as well and now we are seeing uh, it in microbiology uh, for the time being so uh, and also this is important because uh, the diagnosis of such genital ulcers is sometimes asked in the entrance exams as well as in the microbiological exams so we must need to know the how to need to know how to diagnose the genital ulcers so for diagnosing the genital ulcers we will go sequentially like we will ask ask certain questions in a sequential manner so first questions if a patient comes to you with the genital ulcers is whether that ulcer is painless or painful so that should be the first questions like uh, that is uh, if whether the ulcer is painful or painless so if the ulcer is painful if the ulcer is painful then you have to ask whether uh, you have to see whether there is multiple ulcers and along with that whether there is lymphadenopathy or not if there is multiple lesions and along with that there is lymphadenopathy then you have to see whether it is bilateral or unilateral if it is bilateral then the diagnosis is genital herpes which is caused by the herpes simplex virus 2 and if the lesion is unilateral on the one side of the body it is present if if it is present only on the one side of the body then it is the diagnosis is the sancroid which is caused by hemophilus ducreae okay so this is one part now if we come to uh, this is one part when the genital ulcer is painful if the genital ulcer is painless so if the genital ulcer is painless then the next questions next question what we have to ask is whether there is any lymphadenopathy or not so if the genital ulcer is painless and there is no lymphadenopathy that means no pain no lymphadenopathy then the diagnosis is donovanosis otherwise known as the granuloma inguinal which is caused by klebsiella granulomatis which is caused by the klebsiella granulomatis now the next point is if the genital ulcer is painless there is no pain but there is lymphadenopathy okay if there is no pain but there is lymphadenopathy and the lymphadenopathy is the lymph nodes are tender then we have to ask whether the lymph nodes are tender or non tender tender simply means if the lymphadeno lymph uh, adenopathy if or if any lymph node is tender that means the lymphadenopathy is painful if there is non tender if the lymphadenopathy is non tender then the uh, we can say that it is painless so based on that we can uh, that that is the meaning of the uh, little meaning of the tender or non tender okay tender means painful lymphadenopathy or non tender means painless lymphadenopathy so if there is no pain but there is lymphadenopathy then ask whether it is tender or not if the lymphadenopathy is tender then the diagnosis is lympho granuloma venereum which is caused by chlamydia trachomatis if the lymphadenopathy is painless or non tender then the diagnosis is syphilis which is caused by the treponema pallidum okay so in this uh, by this chart you can diagnose any case of the genital ulcers right from microbiology to dermatology so let's revise it once again so if a case of genital ulcer comes you have, you have to first first ask whether there is any 
uh, whether the ulcer is painful or painless so if it is painful then you go to multi uh, go to ask for if whether there is any multiple lien or lymphadenopathy and lymphadenopathy and this will be obviously present if the genital ulcer is painful okay so if it is present if there is multiple lens lymphadenopathy plus the ulcer is painful then ask uh, or see whether it is bilateral or unilateral so if it is bilateral then it is genital herpes if it is unilateral then it is sancroid okay next uh, or the other part of this uh, uh, question is that the genital ulcer if the genital ulcer is painless if there is no pain then ask for so if there is no pain then ask for lymphadenopathy and if the answer is no that that means if there is no pain and no lymphadenopathy no pain and if there is no pain and no lymphadenopathy then the diagnosis is donovanosis then the diagnosis is donovanosis but if there is no pain but there is lymphadenopathy then ask whether the lymph node is tender or non tender if it is tender then it is the diagnosis is lymphogranuloma venerea if it is non tender then the diagnosis is syphilis so in case of syphilis what do we see so in case of syphilis we see that there is lymphadenopathy but the lymphadenopathy pathy is non tender plus the ulcer is painless so painless ulcer plus pain, uh, non tender lymph nodes these two are the points for the diagnosis of syphilis while tender lymph nodes and painless ulcer is is the uh, are the points for the diagnosis of lymphogranuloma venereum okay so this is all about the uh, how to diagnose the case of genital ulcer this is the easiest way you can have to diagnose the genital ulcer right from microbiology to dermatology so i think this will help in diagnosis